All right. This is Friday. I know that wonderful and beautiful Friday. I'm so happy to join you this Friday once again. By now, for those who are familiar with this, my channel, they know I love Fridays. It's Friday, it's Friday. I can do what I like on Fridays. It's Friday. You know, Friday set the tone for my weekend. And I wish everybody of us, we have a fantastic weekend. This Friday, I'll be talking on some words that a lot of people think are similar, even though they are so similar, they are different. Nice versus kindness. And I'm actually reaching out to a workforce. What I mean, if you're a manager, if you are in a staff, you have to employ or you have to work with a team. What kind of people will you choose in your team? Are you going to choose those who are nice or those who are kind? I'm going to let you know the little, little differences in both. But before I go on, let me introduce myself once again for those who are joining this channel for the first time. My name is Josephine, and my channel is Language Joes. This channel releases videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. On Tuesday, I teach a course in my area of specialization, philosophy of religion and theology. I have a doctorate degree in theological studies. And I'm learning just in-house digital professor. Fridays like this, I talk on issues, important issues that are essential to our lives, essential for us to imbibe things that we can do either in our place of employment or personally or towards our children or in our homes, general issues that are beneficial to us. And that's why this Friday, I've picked to talk on nice versus kindness. Before I go on, please let's join languages. I welcome you back. I said the topic for today's Friday tonic is nice versus kindness. There are synonyms of it. Are we talking on friendliness? Are we talking on compassion? Or are we talking on thoughtfulness? You see the little, little difference. But the teacher in me always love to show slides so that you can follow exactly what I'm saying. Sometimes, yes, I can speak off and I can just continue to talk, but how many people will really truly understand me? I have a geographical spread of subscribers and viewers. Our pronunciation, British pronunciation is there for American pronunciation. And as a native, a cultural pronunciation. So when I pronounce a word and you don't even understand what I'm saying, I want you to be able to see it on my slide. And that is why I love people to follow my presentation. This channel is an academy of knowledge economy. We care. We care so much that whatever we put forward, we want people to understand what we're saying. So I'm also going to share some few slides 
in talking about uh, lies versus kindness. So kindly follow me. Lies versus, let me go back, you see. Nice, but friendly, pleasant, against thoughtfulness and compassion. Because when you're saying somebody is nice, oh, you're saying that person is friendly, that person is pleasant. But when you say somebody is kind, you are saying that person is thoughtfulness. You think about thoughtfulness. You think about compassion. So what is the difference between the two? And who's the best to have in your theme in a workforce? When managers build teams, they typically utilize the word nice. They hire friendly people and encourage pleasant interactions, cordial pleasantries, and polite exchanges. Good. I'm not saying it's bad. But as counterintuitive as it may seem, nice is not just enough. Considering troubling labor shortage, the approach to work should be reconsidered. Your approach should not be, oh, I just want nice people. I want somebody who is pleasant, who is friendly. Kindness is an older sibling of nice. Research conducted by the Association of Professional Executives of the Public Service of Canada, APEX, found that themes in the respectful, kind environment express 36% more satisfaction with their jobs and are 44% more committed to their organizations. So if you have a business, you have an organization, or you are managing other corporate organization, with this kind of statistics, what will be your preference? Somebody nice or somebody kind? Now let's talk about the difference between the two. Because I know a lot of people are saying, what's Josephine saying? What's the difference between being nice and being kind? Oh yeah, let's break it up. The two words, though similar, are not exactly the same. Kindness is the leader. When you put them together, you want to see who is in priority. When you prioritize them and you want to know who is at the peak, kindness is the one at the peak, is the leader with the power to motivate teams, boost productivity, and foster a culture that attracts and retain top talent. Managers should dish nice for kindness. Honestly, that's my own advice. The managers, you should dish niceness for kindness. Niceness breeds uncertainty. You know, nice can quickly match in the age. Let me explain why I mean, I mean, it's not an ice cream, but I could say like an ice cream. If you are taking ice cream and you take ice cream close to any source of heat or something out, it will match. Let me give you a practical example. I was just going to work. It's when Friday, I mean, today's Friday, Thursday, yesterday. In my fridge, I have coleslaw, and I have another kind of ice cream that is always popping on my chocolate cake. I don't know, maybe my Ori. I picked, I thought I picked the coleslaw. Because both of them are like, I mean, both of them are like ice cold, frozen, kind of. Chili kind of. So I didn't even notice. I just picked it. And now, you know, we are live in Georgia this time, we are in weather period. The weather changes and the particular weather was kind of chilly. So I had to put on it in my car to keep me warm. 
with what I have. I think it's coast law, it doesn't matter. When I got immediately, I got there with my cappuccino and I opened the coast law thinking I want to take my coast law before I start the walk. To my amazement, I saw something like liquid. I, and I was just wondering, how come we red lobster give me this liquid format of something instead of coast law? What kind of coast law is this? I was thinking to myself. Anyway, I couldn't take it. I didn't even taste it. I just I threw it away. When I got back home and I opened my fridge, I saw my coleslaw. And then that's when it dawned on me that it was the ice cream, the topping of the chocolate cake that I took along with me. And because it's so easily, it melts in the heat. So I'm talking about niceness too. Nice can quickly melt in the heat like ice cream. Nice people, polite disposition, quickly fades when the heat rises. If nice people encounter someone who's not as cautious as they are, or acknowledge them for their friendly gestures, you know, they are friendly, they are warm to you, and if you refuse to acknowledge that kind of gestures, they simply melt under that stress. But in contrast, Kind people are swayed by external factors, unlike nice people, that prefer people to, they like, nice people like to be liked. They want people to like them back. That's a temperament. Kind people stand firm in their conviction to be respectful. Even if the favor isn't returned, they do not care if the visitors not returned, but because they are nice, their personality. They are made up, they are made up, they are kind people. So even if you don't return that favor, it doesn't matter. Because of their consistency, they earn trust and quickly gain influence. And why nice and kind people may display similar behaviors, their motivation isn't quite different. It's quite different, their motivation is quite different. For nice people, other people's opinions are paramount. You know, they look out for a uh, favor for nice things to be said about them. Because uh, yeah, I'm nice, so people should be nice to me too, or compliment me or say something back to me. They take great care to manage their reputation, especially in front of people they deem necessary. If they have your boss, we see they are the one like the yes person who we want to show kind of niceness in front of the bosses and things like that. Even maybe at the back, they do something, but they want to show nice. Their actions and behaviors are performative, performance, dramatic at times. Kind people also want to be thought well of. It's not that they don't want to be thought well of. However, that's not what drives them. Kind people are primarily motivated by what they can give, even if there is no immediate payoff. They see through the eyes of empathy and can connect to others' needs. They are focused on genuine goodwill with no strings attached. They help team members feel safe and valued. If you are in a team, they give you either you are, if you're a student and they break you into themes and you have a kind person within that theme, even when you are not comfortable to do that, what project you are supposed to, that kind of people, we do it, it doesn't matter. And then on behalf of everything, get everything done. They give value. Niceness slows progress. Assistant to rock the boat, you know, when you are nice, you don't want to rock the boat. Friendly people may avoid conflict and shy away from dissenting opinion. No, 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 I don't want them to think I have a different opinion. They are the yes people. When you say something, even when they have something a little bit different from what you are saying, say, oh, yes, 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 agree, 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 that kind of thing. So they slow progress. Their strong desire is just to be lied. So that strong desire to be lied almost always wins the day. Meaning they might let a team member touch the proverbial hot stove without even speaking up to avoid an uncomfortable conversation. They might think, oh, this opinion, this idea we are going to do might not, ah, 
But because they don't want, not want to rock the boat, they avoid uncomfortable conversation. In these cases, their passivity slows progress as the team experiences costly setbacks from bad decisions that could have been avoided. If a nice person has spoken up and allow superior argument to win the day, you might not have that setback, but no, they don't want to rock the boat. Kind people dare to respectively speak the truth. They do not care whose ox is gone. Once they know they are speaking the truth, if that truth is the beneficiary for the old team or for the workforce or for the company, they will speak out. Even if they won't be considered nice for doing so. Why some people might even look at them with one kind of fight. But what's wrong with these people? Are you the only one? You think you have more to be wrong? You know? if they will still speak up. Or wait, some people say, no, 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 listen to the boss now. What the boss say? No. If the kind people know where the boss is going, might not be beneficial. He will speak up. Their boldness promotes problem solving, drives innovation, and increases productivity. So my prayer or my clarion advice for this Friday is to start to create a culture of kindness in your workplace. Don't be too passive. Say, oh, I want to be nice. I want to be on the right side of everybody. I do not want to rock the boat. Kindness has empathy too. But their boldness is picking up the truth at all times, promotes problem solving. It drives innovation and increases productivity. So please, my dear listeners, start to create a culture of kindness in your workplace. That comes to the end of the day, but before I end it, I want to introduce you once again to these books that are beneficial and quality spiritual books for Christian disciples. Learn the diversities and entrapments, sell them, uh, get your victory in Jesus' name. They're available in sale on Amazon. You have the J. Bade series, Organic Faith and Discipleship, Our Experience God, A Cancer with the Devil. And their serum is not omnipotent by Joseph Shobuijo. All over the world, anybody who has done anything bad, or who's wicked and is caught out, we say, oh, Satan pushed me. Satan is not omnipotent. I agree, it's demons are all over the spaces. But it's not omnipotent. So read it, Sarah is not omnipotent by Josephine Shobuijo. And you, when you get on, you type Josephine Shobuijo, Amazing books, you have a lot. E-books are there that cost you next to nothing, not even up to your the money you will buy a soda. They're good ones. I recommend them to you. So today, I have come to the end of this Friday topic. Please, be kind. Kind is the leader, not just nice covering things up because you want people to just love you or like you for yourself. You are not helping anybody. But when you are kind, you speak out the truth at all times. And people appreciate you more. Have a wonderful weekend. I love you all. <laughs>